Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Mary Claire Haver, the creator and founder of The Galveston Diet, and I'm coming to you today to talk about seven pretty simple tips or tricks that you can do during this time when so many of you have reached out to me saying that you've fallen into bad habits, you're stress eating from emotions. This year of 2020 has really rocked everyone's world. I don't know anyone in my existence, anyone following Galveston Diet, any of my friends who has not been affected by everything going in, going on in the world right now. And unfortunately, it's causing a lot of us to slide into some self-soothing habits um, that can include some pretty poor nutritional choices. So I've got seven tips uh, for you guys to try to beat this battle of the bulge that so many of us are going through right now that is linked to this emo emotional time in our lives. So tip number one is, you ready? Y'all aren't gonna like this one, most of you. Try to cut out processed carbohydrates in your diet, okay? I'm talking the goldfish, the candy, the white bread, almost anything that you would find in a box or a bag. Why? There's several reasons why. The way that food is processed, so they take an innocent kernel of wheat, right, that has vitamins and nutrients, it has a beautiful shell of fiber around it, and they strip all of that away to you, just left with the germ, and that basically is sugar. So you've taken anything that is healthy in wheat and just stripped it of all the goodness, left you with sugar. That sugar raises your, um, when you ingest it without the fiber coating, so a whole grain, um, it's not a whole grain, it's processed, stripped away, you, um, it immediately has your blood sugar rise, your insulin levels rise, and the whole process of inflammation starts wreaking havoc you know, kind of reversing anything you've been trying to do good for yourself. Um, so eliminating that also with processing to make things appear more palatable, prettier, make them more addictive, they add extra sugar to it. They add colorings, they add flavoring, and who are they? It's just these people who manufacture this stuff. So being mindful about trying to cut out processed foods and trying to eat whole foods is going to go a huge long way into one, decreasing your inflammation levels, and two, helping with this weight gain. Your um, leptin resistance, your leptin sensitivity will improve so that your I'm full trigger will work when you're eating these simple processed things, your I'm full button gets broken. So that's number one, reduce or eliminate completely any processed carbohydrates. Okay. Number two, if you've never done it, I, I, we had a challenge last month, but I cannot speak highly enough about the medical benefits of intermittent fasting. The weight loss for some of you will be modest, will be great, but it really, it's the medical benefits the decreasing inflammation, you will think clearer, you actually sleep better. Again, your resi your um, leptin resistance, I mean your leptin, the way your body processes leptin will improve. And so um, you will feel full, you will <clears throat> sleep better. Brain fog is much, much better for people who practice fasting on a regular basis. So that's number two. Number three, exercise, kind of a no-brainer. The more you move your body, the better it's going to be. There are multiple studies that talk about decreasing your, um, people sleep better, decreases stress levels. You know, it is a way for you to get this built up tension and anxiety out of your body through physical exercise. Even if it's a walk around the block, if you need help, there's tons of videos online for free. Galveston Diet has our mini move course for 20 bucks. You have a lifetime access to a workout program that is with resistance training that I developed. And so some kind of exercise, being mindful to create time in your day to get out there and get some exercise. Okay, number four, eat the rainbow. And I'm not talking about Skittles. <laughs> I'm talking about a colorful variation of fresh fruits and vegetables. When I go to the grocery store, I look at color. I'm looking at red, purple, blue, green. I'm trying to get as many colors as I can into the grocery basket so that I can get them on my plate. Why? Because these are whole foods and they're packed with all the vitamins and minerals that you need to stay healthy. And as a bonus, the chemical that gives 
it's called a phytochemical that gives fruits and veggies their color, is also a powerful antioxidant. So as more color that you can get on your plate than and into your body, the healthier it is because you're getting a wide variety of different vitamins, nutrients, and natural anti-inflammatories. Okay, next, and this might be difficult for some, but practicing mindful eating. Not eating out of boredom, not eating out of, you know, stress, but sitting down and thinking, I'm nourishing my body. I'm putting stuff in my body that is good for me and that's gonna make me healthy. It's gonna make me feel better, okay? Um, I know everyone is stressed out and so many of us are taught to self-soothe with, you know, treats or with simple carbs or, but just being more mindful, setting that intention every day. And another great practice to have is for those of you who journal, um, I highly recommend it. Take five minutes, write out your intentions for the day, write out your food, your nutrition intentions for the day. And just making that commitment to yourself is huge, will go a very, very long way into helping decrease stress levels and help you stay on path, okay? Um, also, I talked about fiber earlier. Okay, so number six, consume fiber-filled foods. When you talk to colorectal surgeons, these are the people who are on the front line of colon cancer and gastrointestinal disease. You need to have 25 to 35 grams of fiber a day for optimal gut health. So trying to eat whole foods that are fiber filled because they increase your satiety, you feel full longer, it decreases the absorption of simple sugars, it makes your body take a longer time to absorb them, it stabilizes your blood sugar and it decreases your insulin levels. And on the long term, it will actually decrease your insulin sensitivity as well. So those of you who are pre-diabetic or it runs in your family and you're like, oh God, I don't want that to be me after watching brothers and sisters or aunts or parents, Making sure that you are getting enough fiber in your diet is critical. Again, try to get it from whole foods. If you find yourself lacking, you wanna supplement the difference to try to hit 25 to 35 grams. I try to hit 35 a day, that's my goal. My uncle died of colon cancer at 52. That's pretty scary. I'm, I'll be 52 <laughs> this, this August. So yeah, he'd been fighting colon cancer since 49 and um, it was a tough one. So, oh, last one, find a way to de-stress. Easier said than done, I know that. But again, setting that intention during the day, it, and it's you do you for this, whatever makes sense to you. It could be like at my house, I might do a mask. I might take a hot bath. I might put something fancy in my bath water to make it smell good or make me help me relax a little more. Um, you know, because if you're not de-stressing, you're gonna undermine your weight loss efforts because your inflammation levels are gonna be high. Those cortisol is the stress hormone. It rises with emotional distress and it causes your, it decreases your metabolism, it increases insulin or decreases insulin sensitivity. It, does, it wreaks so much havoc on our body. So finding a way, whether it be going for a walk, calling your girlfriend, you know, holding someone's baby, playing with a puppy, whatever it is every day, taking that time out, again, being mindful about your nutrition, making time for exercise, making time for journaling, for motivation, for um, you know, being thankful for the goodness in your life and not so much, and then taking, the, what really works for me is the things that I feel like are stressing me out or I'm upset or aggravated about or whatever, I write them down and it's my way of giving it, and for me it's giving it up to God. For you, it could be the universe or you know, however you, you internalize these things but writing it down so that it's not your burden anymore to me is critical and it really really changed my life when i started that practice of being of recognizing the things that were causing me drama and writing them down the funny thing is i have all of my journals and i go back from a couple of years ago and i look at the things that stress me out and that i wrote down and it just seems so silly now like, why did I let that upset me? An argument with my sister or my neighbor or whatever, you know, just, just things that were seemed so important and, and just, just so awful back then. Now it's just like, God, I can't believe I let that take over my life for an hour that I thought and thought and thought, you know, so much about it. So the practice of writing that stuff down and giving it up to the universe is huge. So I'll recap for those of you who are joining now, but I wrote everything down over here. 
Um, so seven tips to help you get your health back on track, okay? Number one, reduce and eliminate processed and simple carbohydrates. Number two, consider practicing intermittent fasting. So amazing. Uh, number three, get out there and move your body. Exercise, exercise, exercise at least 25 to 30 minutes, three to four times a week and incorporate some resistance training with that. For those of you, I see the questions coming up um, who asked. Um, if you go to galsondiet.com, it'll take you to the program, and then you can see there's a menu uh, when you go to the teachable.com site, which is what houses all the courses. You'll see the mini move course there. Uh, I'll put a link in the comments later, but um, okay. Number four, eat the rainbow. Remember, as much color as you can get on your plate from fruits and vegetables, you will get all of those healthy, incredible vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that you need. Um, Number five, be mindful and intentional about your food. Write it down in the morning if you need to. Uh, number six, increase your fiber-filled foods. Try to eat as much naturally occurring fiber as possible and then supplement on top of that. Um, and then last, find that way to de-stress. Whatever works for you. Try a variety of things, but every day carve out time for yourself to try to lower your stress levels. And I promise you, your efforts toward weight loss will go much, much better. I am Dr. Mary Claire Haver, creator and founder of The Galveston Diet. And if you want to check out our program, we'd love to have you. Just go to www.galvestondiet.com. We have recipes, we have video blogs, we have lots of information for you and a link to the signature program if you want to become one of our students. Have a fabulous day and a happy Sunday.